Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a basic header. Okay, um, I'm not a graphic designer. When I want full-on graphic work done, I have guys I go to and I pay. But, I don't always want to spend the money, and when I don't, I'll have a go with it myself. I do not use Photoshop, I've never managed to get the hang of it. I use an online program called Pixlr.com. P-I-X-L-R.com right here at the top. When you go to that page you'll be given three options. You want the editor, which I believe is the first one. So pixlr.com editor. What we're going to do is once you've opened that up we're going to create a new image. You need to get it the right size. 1200 by 270. Okay. So that is your standard white background. If you want to change the background colour, you can do that. Let me show you how. Now, I'm going to go through a few different things here. You don't have to do them all. You don't have to do any of them. But you might want to watch the video a few times. <laughs> okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to pick a colour. So just click here, set main colour, and then drag your little icon to wherever you want. Can you see the colour over here changing? And then you can refine it more. If you know the hashtag colour, the, um, the, the colour code, you could put that in. But I just do it by dragging this till I get the one I want. Do I want a beautiful shade of is that aqua? There you go. And then to fill in the header, we're going to use the paint bucket. So just click on the paint bucket, click on your header. And there you go, you've now got an aqua blue header to start working with. If you don't like it and you want to change it, Control Z will undo whatever you have just done. Okay, so that is how you change the background colour. Just set the main colour here and then use the paint bucket. If I want to add in some words, I use the type tool. So again, left click on it and then click in your header wherever you want it to be. Now, you can change the font. You can change the colour. You can change the size. And you can change the style. Click on OK. Now, say you decided that you put this in the wrong place. Use the little arrow, so click on the Move tool. And then you can just kind of grab it. And if you want to change it, click on the A again, click on it. You can do that as many times as you like. So you can just click on that again, click over here, change the colour. change the font change the size make it bold okay I want to move it so again come to the tools click on the move tool put that there now if at any time you suddenly don't see this toolbar, just go to View and Tool Options. Okay? And Layers, which is the stuff on the right hand side over here, because you can then see which layer is first, which is second. I want to add a picture. How do I edit a picture to be the right size? That's the question I'm always getting. So, Images. Okay? First thing we want to do, 
is we want to open an image. This is one, I think this was last Christmas, maybe the Christmas before. I know I've got less air and a bit less stomach now, but okay, what I want to do is I want to crop this out, okay, because obviously I don't want all this stuff on the left in my picture. We go to tools, we pick the cropping tool, just click on it, left click. And then in the image, left click again and drag. Can you see that little crosshair? Drag it to where you want and let go. Uh oh, I've chopped some of my head off there. Grab the little blue box and pull it up. Okay, I like that. We're going to leave that. Just double click in the middle, and that is now my new image. If you make a mistake and you want to go backwards, Control Z, that will take it back. So it's just one click, drag to where you want. Once you've got it how you want it, double click. This is still too big. Okay, so what we do is we go image, image size. I know that it's got to be 270 high to fit. So that's what I do. Okay, so that is now 270 high. Now save it. Give it a name. OK. And then what you want to do is make, what I always do when I'm doing these projects is I make one folder. That's where I'm going to keep the images I want to use. And that's where I'm going to keep the finished header. Oh, there's already one called that. Do I want to replace it? Depends how sure you are that you got the name right. If you're not, just put a one on the end and save. We're now safe to close this. Do I want to save it? Well no because I've just saved it. What I want to do is I want to add that picture over here because this store is run by myself and Kathy. Um, I'm a big helper and I want my picture in the header. It's called a layer and we open an image as a layer. So I'm going to use this resized me one. It's in the middle, I don't want it there. So again, use the little pointy tool, drag it to where you want it. I really want something else to go in this white space. Now, I do comics, you know, we're selling quite a few comics, so maybe I want the Batman logo in there, maybe I want the Marvel logo in there. If you've got a niche, then put things related to that niche. So if I was doing all comics, I would put comic related images in there. The Marvel logo, the DC Comics logo, the Black Horse logo. If it is just your stuff, maybe you want to put a few different images in there. Maybe you don't want to put any image. Maybe you want to just give the store title, the store name, and a tagline. Kathy and Paul's place, we sell all awesome stuff. Okay? And you would do that just using the... Um, just as I've already shown you. So you would just type in your message and then save the header. Some of you are going to be great with graphics and going to be able to change this all around. Some of you are going to be like me, artistically challenged, and I can do the basics as I've just shown you. So, I want to resize another image. Oops. You've got to start by opening it, Paul. Open the image. Um, so, say I wanted to put this bit of cross stitch in there. There you go. So I've cropped it, so I've got the bit I want. And then I want to go with the right size. 
Go with the height first, because that's the bit that is fixed. You know you've only got 270 height. And make sure it's always got this ticked, the constraint proportions. So I want to save it. Save and save. Close this image because I'm not working on it anymore. We go back to a layer and we open an image as a layer. There you go. And that's just pasted in there. I want to move it. I move it. Now you'll see over here on the right hand side it says layers. Again, if you haven't got this there, look at your view settings. Okay, and click on layers and this should appear. Or even click on show all and you'll get all of this. But this is layer 4 because it's the fourth thing I put in there. So you can see all the different stuff you've done. Now what I want to do is if I highlight that, that will allow me to drag it. Layer 4, that's that. Hmm. So I can now drag that across again. So you can put photos in there, just make sure you resize them. My advice is to collect three or four things, images that you want in there, if you want to do it like this, resize them first. Okay? And then start playing. Get a piece of paper and a pen and write down the title you want. Write down the message. Remember, it doesn't have to be a photo. You could use a piece of clip art. You know, so if you've got a little cartoon picture that, that you want to use, you could use that. It doesn't have to be a photo of me. Okay? Um, or even you. It doesn't have to be a scan of your favourite bit of cross-stitch. What you could do is you could do so Kit Kat store or Kathy's place and then you could put in different size fonts the things that you do. So you could write comics in one font and one size. You could write shoes in another size in another colour. It could get a bit busy. Play with it. Remember this is free. It's not costing you anything. Okay. And obviously if you want a professional header done this, you can pay for it, okay? And you will get guys who will give you stunning ones. If you don't want to spend any money, Pixlr is your friend. Okay? So, so far in this video, we have gone over creating a new image in the correct size, changing the background color if you wanted to, adding text in different sizes, different colors, different fonts. Getting an image and resizing it. And then inserting that image into the header. So all you would do next to finish is just save it. There you go. So I now open that. And I have now got a header. 1200 by 270. So it's the correct size. It's horrible. It's definitely not a work of art, but it didn't cost me anything, and um, it's the correct size. So it may be something quick and dirty to get you started, while you go and find somebody who is um, better graphically equipped than I am. Okay, and they'll make it for you, and, and that's awesome. But I felt that uh, I'd like to share the, a little way of doing it for free. Okay, and obviously if you get a logo made, when, you buy, when you're getting them to do the logo, consider asking them to do one at 270. I know the logo size is 150 by 150, but think about asking them to do it at 270, because then you could add it into your header if you wanted to. It may well be overkill, but you can do if you want to. Okay, I hope the video helps. As I said, in no shape, form am I a graphic artist. That isn't what, I'm, that isn't what I do. Okay, but... 
if you want to put together little things, Pixlr is an awesome online free program. Okay, hope it helps. Um, any questions, within reason, I'll help. Um, can't do the headers for you, because as you can tell, I really am graphically challenged. Okay, cheers.